Was there an airplane crossing? Uh, I think the lights. Where is my tinnitus? Your tinnitus is getting so bad that we others can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad sign. <laughs> This is a project that started in 2014 when I got a message from Mbuduzo and uh, I didn't know him and he asked me if I wanted to come to <coughs> Johannesburg and record an album. You know, I was on YouTube uh, and I was just looking at stuff. YouTube suggests stuff sometimes. So I guess on this day, YouTube just decided to show me this video where Carl Martin was playing. And I remember just feeling like, oh man, this uh, kind of sound says something beyond the sound itself. And then I reached out to him on uh, Facebook and, uh, and, and of course uh, he responded positively. I thought about it for five seconds at the most. <laughs> then after that I started thinking, whoa, but where is this person even? And then we started having like kind of technical conversations. Oh, I'm in Sweden. And so I flew to um, Johannesburg and he picked me up at the airport and we basically went straight to the studio and recorded for two days and we made an album called listening to the ground which really became like a kind of go-to study for a lot of south african musicians actually and of course they love the saxophone and the album and the whole vibe is different because it's like the whole nordic meets the far south right at the bottom of of the earth you know it's it's so beautiful to think about that, what it does for the sound. I've been dreaming about being able to bring uh, like the, the quartet from that time, which was me and Mbuduzo and uh, Ayanda Sikad on the drums and the Norwegian bass player uh, Magnet Udmundsetter. I really wanted to bring the quartet to Sweden and finally I managed and, and now we're here. <laughs> <laughs> 